Hi, I am Dr. Prabhakar. I am a lead consultant, uh, general and elite specialties at Aster Whitefield Hospital. In my previous video, I talked about the anal fistula, the symptoms, the signs of fistula, and uh, when to consult a doctor and how to diagnose anal fistula. Today, I am going to talk about treatment options for anal fistula. So, according to uh, the literature, there is very less chance of anal fistulas to be healed spontaneously. Many of the patients at some point have to undergo surgery. So, the timing of surgery depends on person to person. So, uh, you can initially treat uh, with uh, medical management uh, uh, with a kind of antibiotics to reduce the infection. So, hoping that the infection will come down and uh, the fistula uh, try to close spontaneously. But unfortunately, many of the patients might have to undergo surgery. The options available are uh, once the initial infection settles down, we will plan for a surgical procedure. If for some reason the abscess or infection doesn't settle down, one might have to undergo an emergency surgery to drain the abscess. Uh, at the same sitting, uh, the will try to close the fistula as well. But it's ideal uh, if someone has to undergo a surgery, there should not be infection so that the intervention what we do will be less. So options available are one is a setan placement where we put a uh, thread into this uh, opening and thread it along the entire canal so that uh, we will create a space for, a, for the pus to come out. So uh, once the pus comes out, there might be a chance of spontaneous healing. So another uh, option is uh, fistulotomy. It is a surgical procedure where some uh, patient has to be admitted and it has to be done under anesthesia. So we allow to open the entire canal and leave it open so that it heals from inside and the scar will become flat. So main idea is to connect the external opening and the internal opening so that there will not be any remnant left. So in surgical procedures, uh, there are other newer techniques like lift where we do a submucosal ligation of the fistula tract uh, which decreases the uh, cut level. Newer techniques are uh, laser assisted fistula closure where we use a laser fiber, uh, we track it along the track uh, so that uh, we burn the track from inside, it will coagulate and seal the track. So one more less invasive option available is uh, fibrin glue injection. Uh, we clean the track initially and then inject a fibrin glue so it uh, might facilitate sealing of this fistula track. Another option available is fistula plug where we use an artificial plug to uh, seal off the fistula tract. So with the discussion of the doctor and uh, depending on the complexity of the anal fistulas, so doctor will decide what is the best option available uh, for a particular patient and he will always explain uh, beforehand uh, what are the benefits of uh, each procedure and advantages and disadvantages. So better to speak to the doctor in detail about the procedure. What are the complications of anal fistula? Generally, anal fistula is a result of abscess formation that is pus around the anus. So it causes uh, pus discharge continuously and many a times while sitting, uh, while passing stools, pus comes out. Other complications are irritation, then anal incontinence, that is the passing of stools without somebody uh, noticing. Then it can lead to recurrent pus formation and it can also branch out to form a complex fistula. Can anal fistula be prevented? Yes. So if somebody has a good lifestyle, if somebody can avoid constipation and spending too much of time in the restroom, 
most of the times anal fistulas can be prevented however so exact cause how this anal fistula forms is not known so however we can make an effort to uh, reduce the incidence of anal fistula if you wish to seek more information about pus discharge perianal pain and irritation around the anus please visit department of general surgery at astor hospital whitefield